Hi, in this series we will make a tic-tac-toe or knots and crosses game for fun. I think you all are familiar to this game but for those who don't know, it's basically a paper and pencil game for two players who take turns marking the spaces in a 3x3 grid with X or 0. The player who succeeds in placing three of their marks in a horizontal, vertical or diagonal row is the winner. All right. Let's check out what we are gonna be building in this series. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Let's get started. Open Android Studio. Click New Project. Click Next. Write the project name. I'm going to save on my desktop. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Let's start by importing the images. As you can see, my image dimensions are 150 by 150 pixels. I will copy these images and paste inside drawable folder. Next, go to activity underscore main dot xml file. First, I will change this constant layout to relative layout. Next, I will delete this text view. Add a vertical linear layout to hold the 3 by 3 grid of image views. For id, let's write at plus id forward slash game layout. To display the layout at the center, write Android colon layout underscore center horizontal and Android colon layout underscore center vertical to true. Add a child horizontal linear layout to hold the first row of image views. Add the first image view of the first row. We are assigning layout underscore width to 0 dp and layout underscore width to 1 to give all image views equal width. You can give some margin around image views. For image source, I am giving the image with name x inside drawable folder. For on click attribute, write a method name, in my case, play. Let's give each of these image views a tag to know its position in code when it is clicked. By giving alpha value of 0.0, .0 we are making the image view fully transparent. Next, add a view to draw this vertical line. Similarly, add the second image view of the first row. For tag, 
output 1. Next, add a view to draw the second vertical line of this row. Add the third image view of the first row. For tag, the value should be 2. Add a view to draw the first horizontal line separating the first and second row. Add another horizontal linear layout to hold the second row, containing three image views and two vertical border lines for second row only. The image view tags should be 3, 4, 5 respectively for second row. You need to add views in between the first, second and second third image views to draw the vertical border lines in second row. Add a view to draw the second horizontal line separating the second and third row. Add a third horizontal linear layout to hold the third row containing three image views and two vertical lines for this third row only. I am writing the full code here, but if you want, you can copy portions of the code and edit accordingly.
For third row, the tags for image views should be 6, 7 and 8 respectively. Let's check the design. Perfect. Finally, add a vertical linear layout to show the result of the game in a text view and a play again button. To display the layout at the center, write Android colon layout underscore center horizontal and android colon layout underscore center vertical to true. Set the visibility to gone. We will set this layout to visible in Java code when the game is over. Let's give a padding of 16 dp to the root relative layout. Check the final design. Great. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.